Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying four crumble cookies. These were sent to us from Asthma in Ohio, so thank you to Asthma. She has sent us the M&M, the chocolate lava, the peanut butter, and the chocolate chip. So, what you do is you can either put these in the oven at 350 for five minutes, or you can freeze them um, in a Ziploc bag for up to three days. So I am um, going to put all of these in the oven for five minutes, and that's just to heat them up, I guess, like they were when they were fresh from the bakery. And uh, then we'll be back, but they're very easy to open. The peanut butter feels more delicate than the others. It is scored on top. So you have to kind of be careful with it because where they scored it, it wants to, um, it wants to break and I don't want it to break. <laughs> so there were actually three large chocolate chip cookies in the uh, box, but I'm going to save those other chocolate chip cookies for later. Uh, so we'll be back when these are warm. So they look the same out of the oven after five minutes as they looked when they went in, but I just wanted to, to give you one more view of them up close before we start eating them. So here are the cookies again. I'm gonna let Kevin start with the peanut butter because I'm just a peanut butter fanatic and I, I really wanna taste the peanut butter. Now, I will tell you right now, the um, I did contact Crumble Cookies and they were able to give me the calories for the chocolate lava. Mm -hmm. So the chocolate lava is the only one that you are going to see nutritional information for at the end of the video. So you will see the calories and you'll see the ingredients, but that's the only one. The other ones I looked up on like MyFitnessPal or something like that, and so it is, uh, it might be right, it might be wrong, but really the calories pretty much fit in with their calories. So I have to, I'm, I'm believing that they're probably right. So now the peanut butter, uh, t uh, each of these cookies is two servings, of course. You would, full, you would fully expect that. And they're heavy too, aren't mm -hmm. they? Especially they this one, it's yeah, heavy. They're, they're dense. Um, so each cookie is two servings. The peanut butter is 280 calories for half. So, is this one. And the peanut butter does want to fall apart just because it was scored. Well, the texture is kind of a crumbly texture anyway. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I like that. I like the flavor. The peanut butter is like a tip any other typical peanut butter cookie. And for me, peanut butter cookies have never been my favorite because the peanut butter is never strong enough. Right. That's the typical peanut butter cookie. It does, it's not a super strong peanut butter, but you definitely taste peanut butter. I like the texture. Mm -hmm. the, the texture is very, very nice. It's but crumbly. I agree with you. The peanut butter, uh, because it, it doesn't have like peanut butter chips in it, mm -hmm. because it's just peanut butter, it is a very, very light peanut butter. Yeah, and there's no peanuts in there either, because sometimes they'll make peanut butter cookies that have little pieces peanuts. of peanuts in yes. there that brings the flavor out a little more. Yes. So that one, it's it's a typical, if you bought a frozen tube, or a cooled a refrigerated tube of peanut butter It would butter remind cookies, you, yes. It, the it, quality's better, but the, the flavor. The quality's better, it has a better texture, but the flavor's about the same. Yeah. The, this peanut butter, just to be 100% honest, it does not have as much peanut butter flavor as the old fashioned peanut butter cookies uh, Walmart. from Walmart that I've <laughs> raved about. Well, yeah. they're they're probably, if I had to, to name a favorite peanut butter cookie right now, that would be That would one. be it, yeah, because even I like those. Yeah, and it's called Old Fashioned Peanut Butter Cookie, mm -hmm. and those have little pieces of peanuts in it to yeah. heighten that flavor. Yeah. Uh, and that's nothing against this one, because this is good. It's good, it's just your typical peanut butter. Cookie. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, if you're expecting um, tons of peanut butter, it doesn't have. Right, so let's do the chocolate chip next. Chocolate chip? The chocolate chip, and this is supposed to be like what they're known the for. The signature cookie. Yes, they're known for these chocolate chip cookies, so I can't wait. Um, I, what I found online was um, that the whole cookie is 759 calories. So uh, that may or may not be correct. Uh, it probably is though. I would think it is. Pretty good thing.
That is delicious. It's good. It doesn't have a really strong like buttery flavor like some chocolate cookies do, but the chocolate's really, really good. Mm -hmm. And the base cookie recipe is really good too. We've had buttery or chocolate chip cookies. It's amazing how just five minutes in the oven has heated these up completely. Mm -hmm. The perfect they, time. Yes, and they are like like the the chocolate is gooey. Mm -hmm. um, the inside of the cookie is a little. Um, it's not doughy, but it is very soft. Right. I love the texture. Yeah, of these. It's, it's gotten uh, soft. That is, that is a very nice chocolate chip cookie. Uh, this next one is the chocolate lava. It's the one that I told you I know for sure. It is 280 calories for two servings. I'm thinking that oh. probably most of these across the board are going to be about 280 for two servings. Probably can't see that, but there's some chocolate in the middle. Oh my goodness. Well, we need to have a bite out of the, the middle part then. Let me cut the edges We, we want to be able to, to get some of the It's the almost, gooey. the texture of this one feels like almost like a brownie. I won't complain. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It tastes like a brownie. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a dark. Mm -hmm. It's a little darker. It's darker, but it's not bitter at all. I don't think it's bitter. It's just. It's less sweet than a milk chocolate because it is dark chocolate. Right. It definitely has a darker flavor. But it does. It's good. You said brownie. It has a brownie mm -hmm. uh, lean to it. Yeah. It really does. And you get the chocolate part in the middle. It's kind of a gooey, like liquidy chocolate, mm -hmm. which is like so what far, you expect that's my from favorite a one. Because mm -hmm. the flavor is so strong in that chocolate. I really do like that. Now, the last one is the M&M cookie. And there, I could not find any information at all. Like, nobody has even guessed at the calories on, like, my fitness pal. I would say it's about the same as the chocolate chip. I you? would think so. I would think it's, I would think it's the close. same as all At these. least close. Yeah. And this just looks wonderful. It's amazing how different the m and is, is from the chocolate chips. Mm-hmm. Because that candy coating adds a different flavor to it. Well, the chocolate itself tastes completely That's true. different. Yeah. The actual chocolate in the m and has a completely different flavor than uh, the uh, chocolate in the chocolate chips. It does. But it's it's a good cookie, it and I like cookie. it that you can taste the M and M. Actually, I think M and M may be my favorite one. Um, hmm, I, you know, I really like the texture of it. I like the soft cookie with the crisp M and M, but I sure do like that chocolate lava. The chocolate was a little dark for I me. I yeah, I figured it would be. Yeah. I'm still gonna go with the chocolate lava for my favorite, but then I'm gonna go with the M and M for second. Yeah. And then chocolate chip and then peanut butter. Mine would probably be M&M, chocolate chip, peanut butter, and then the, the So that was wobble. just way too dark for it you. It was just dark. peanut butter before. Yeah, it was just too dark for me. Like I said, the peanut butter was good. It just wasn't very strong. Now, I think these are good cookies. They're not the best cookies we've had because they're, I, I miss, when I eat a chocolate chip cookie, I want that buttery, rich cookie. Right. And it's missing that buttery, rich cookie flavor. For me, it is. Asthma, I think they're good though. Asthma has sent us cookies from somewhere else that um, was like top of the line. Yeah, but I don't even know how you could beat those. I, I mean, know. They're like right. Truly gourmet cookies. Right. <laughs> yes. But these are good. These would be these would be good cookies to, to have. I, I do think they're good cookies. Don't get me wrong. I just think they're they're not quite as good as we've had before. What impressed me about this company when I looked online is that every week they feature different cookies. Yeah. So I really I think that's that's cool that you can go there and like one week they might have a cinnamon roll and a a uh, raspberry and then the next week they might have strawberry and key lime or right. you know I'm just making those names up but you know you just never know uh, during Christmas they might have an eggnog and a peppermint you I would assume they have their base flavors though all the time. I think you the chocolate think. chip I'm pretty I'm thinking pretty sure that the chocolate chips available all the time because that is their signature flavor 
Um, so, so the other ones may, who knows? Right. I don't think, and like the M&M, I just can't find, M like I said, I mean, no one has uh, provided information on that. Uh, but I think these are very good cookies. Um, I, I like them a lot. I think it's nice. The packaging's nice. The mm -hmm. box is nice. Yep. All that is. Um, they were uh, packaged carefully. Uh, if you watch the unboxing video, I do those in my, my blogs. Um, they were packaged really carefully, and so uh, we really appreciate you sending us these asthma, and I hope everyone else enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.